All right, so Dr. Sharon, actually, here she comes right now, so we'll do the exam. Perfect timing. We Hi, there. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. How are you? How are Hi, you? Mrs. Reyes. How are you? Hi. Are you uh, getting ready for the holidays? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Can you? Okay, so Sarah is a, uh, uh, excuse me, a senior at Friends. She's going to be going to Harper um, in the fall. Nice. Uh, wants to study radiology, which yeah. will be exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, so I did a routine exam today, uh, routine cleaning. Everything looks really, really good in her mouth, so I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, okay. In regards to medical history, good news is Sarah's asthma and her allergies are no longer a big concern like they used to be in the past. So she's no Yay, longer... Yeah, take it. Now. Yeah, <laughs> it's fantastic. Oh, especially with the asthma, sometimes it creates some different changes in the mouth, you know, with those medications. But she's not on any medications right now. Um, the only thing she is using um, is a... Uh, a fluoride mouth rinse, um, but in regards to medications, nothing is significant. Uh, Dental Dana history, the last time she came in, there were two areas that we were watching, upper right, uh, so tooth number two on the chewing surface, and then the upper left, uh, tooth number 15 on the um, outside buckle surface. So okay. when I did, um, when I took a look, I actually felt like it was sticking, so if, if it's okay with you, you can take a look at that as well. Sure. Um, she's doing a really, really good job with her home care. I do suggest a power brush versus a manual toothbrush. She has that lingual bar and she's flossing and getting underneath that really well. Good. But I've noticed that they, she has quite a bit of plaque on the uppers, way, way in the back. And I think if she had that power brush, it would probably help her out um, in regards to that. Uh, diet is fantastic. She's not a snapper, which is great. Um, it helps your mouth. Um, she does do sodas on occasion. Um, but we did talk about um, continuing to use the fluoride at home, and then also before she leaves today, we'll do a fluoride treatment. Did I get everything? Yeah, I think so. Okay. What x-rays I get? Oh, yeah, I was just about to thank you. Um, I've updated the x-rays. I took uh, four vitamins today, and I also took a pano. The reason I did the pano is the last time we talked about maybe to see where those wisdom teeth are. Um, she's not in any pain, but I've noticed that when I looked, um, you can't, I don't know, it doesn't look like those wisdom teeth have any room to come out. So if you could take a look at that. We've kind of talked about maybe going to oral surgery, but I'd like for you to take a look at that. But I did do the four bite wings. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't see anything in between in the bite wing x-rays. Awesome. So that's when the flossing is paying off. Let me take a good look, okay? Can you turn towards me just slightly? Thank you. Her gums looked really healthy. There wasn't any bleeding when I did the cleaning, which is fantastic. Little to no stain. Um, like I said, the only areas that I saw of concern was that upper right and upper left area, uh, and that's exactly where the sticks were too. So. <clears throat> In regards to cleanings, I think every six months is still a really good um, free care. Yeah, you, get, you do get a little bit of plaque up here near the gum line on the last molars. Just like Dina said, maybe that power brush will be a good idea for you. Because that is the only area I'm really seeing that. We yeah, gums look nice and pink. Yeah, we reviewed um, health, excuse me, we reviewed um, home, oral hair, home care instructions. Um, I am going to send her home also with maybe some floss fetters for the bottom. So we'll yeah, start. good idea. Okay, Sarah, I did get two sticks. Okay. The, the two areas that we were concerned about, mm -hmm. this top right last molar on the biting surface mm -hmm. and this top left molar on the cheek side. Okay. Now the last two teeth in your mouth, hard to reach, mm -hmm. they do take a little bit of effort. Um, Want to get you back to get those fixed, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll get her back to get those two cavities taken care of. Okay. Um, looking at your panorex, the third molars, they're just not going to erupt as they should. There's just no room for them. Mm -hmm. Many of us don't have room for these extra molars back there. I would like you to see an oral surgeon to get those removed. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. We'll send you to some really good people. Okay. We'll forward the information we have, the x-rays, to them as well. Dina can help you with that. Dr. Sharon, I have a question. So yeah. I'm going to help out uh, Sarah. With, um, with the scheduling in regards to those fillings, how soon would you like to have her back for those? Let's get her back, you know, next week, week after. Okay. Let's go up front and see. All right, fantastic. I'd like to okay. get those done before they get bigger. Okay, all right, for one, one to two weeks. Okay, all right, we can do that. And I'll help you with that. Okay. What questions do either of you have? I'm going to sit you up. Okay, thank you. Um, you said uh, one to two weeks, we get those cavities okay. taken care of. Um, no, let me see in the wisdom teeth. The wisdom teeth, um, they're not bothering her, so I have a little time for that? A little, but I wouldn't wait. Um, a, we want to get a call into the oral surgeons. They tend to book out 
uh, pretty far. So oh, the sooner okay. you call, the sooner you'll get in with them. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And I'm going to help you with all that. So before you leave today, I'll make sure that Sarah, you get a referral. Um, we actually have a really great oral surgeon that we work directly with. So we you know, communicate all the time. So before you leave today, I'll make sure you get the referral. I also will make sure that any information that they need will okay. be handed off to um, the oral surgeon. Okay. All right. So good. We'll get it all done. Mm -hmm. It was nice to see you guys again. Thank Enjoy you. your holidays. Great. Thank Thanks, you, Sarah. You're, You're welcome. My pleasure. Thanks, Sarah. We're going to go ahead. I'm going to have to oh, say you're going to go ahead and do the varnish real quick. Sounds good. All right. Fantastic.